This is the last night of work for many employees of Ozark and Transworld Airlines. TWA purchased Ozark last month and the two carriers officially become one airline in two days. The merger has already created layoffs, but what else does it mean for employees and consumers? Tonight, reporter Russ Mitchell joins us with more on that story. Russ? Well, Larry, TWA and Ozark will merge their flight schedules this Sunday, and that will be the end of St. Louis-based Ozark Airlines. Within the next year, all those green and white Ozark planes will be painted in TWA red and white. The acquisition has created friction between employees and unions and could affect everyone who travels by air. Ozark and TWA control more than 80% of all air traffic at Lambert Airport. Together, the carriers employ some 8,000 here. TWA says within the next few months, 500 to 700 of these workers will be laid off. More than 300 have already received pink slips, and today was their last day on the job. Tonight, laid off employees met at a Bridgeton watering hole to say goodbye. It's kind of a bittersweet experience. It, uh, I'm happy for the people who have become a part of TWA, but I'm a little sad for myself uh, since uh, today is my last day. I guess I feel like the company is basically where they are for the employees that have been there and, you know, have participated in all this work, and this is the gratitude that they get. Many Ozark workers who are being kept on by TWA are not very happy with their deal either. In the past, most Ozark employees were paid 15 to 20 percent more than their TWA counterparts. But under the terms of the merger, Ozark salaries become compatible with TWAs. So an Ozark worker who made $30,000 last year will take a $6,000 pay cut. What can passengers expect from the merger? Well, the airline's fares are scheduled to increase 10 to $20, effective tomorrow night on all flights. And analysts say you can expect to see even higher fares on routes handled exclusively by the new TWA. But most don't believe the increases will get out of hand. With carriers such as Southwest in the market, I don't think you will see uh, monopolistic pricing occur in St. Louis. And there are other carriers outside of St. Louis who would move in to the St. Louis uh, airport as soon as they would feel that uh, monopolistic pricing might be going on. TWA officials say passengers who have tickets for any TWA or Ozark flight departing after tomorrow night should call the TWA information line to find out if the flight time or number has been changed. Chances are the flight number will have changed. Well, a lot of times change, a lot of flight times. I, I think a lot of the times will ch also change because of they're again offering a, a, a diverse schedule throughout a day. Now there is speculation that the next round of layoffs will affect pilots and flight attendants.